Welcome! This is a short screencast that gets you started with the Facebook SDK for iOS. To develop iOS apps, you need an Apple Mac with the Xcode development environment installed. If you don't already have it, you'll find Xcode as a free download on the Apple App Store. Once it's downloaded and installed, you're ready to go. Next, you'll need to download the Facebook SDK for iOS itself. You'll receive a package which takes you through a simple installation process. Take a quick look at the README, select the default locations, and wait for the install to complete. Installation will, by default, place the SDK into your Documents folder. Inside, you'll find four items, the Framework folder itself, the License, the README file, and a Samples folder. Most of the samples are designed to demonstrate an important part of the SDK and the key principles of designing social apps. For example, the Session Login Sample project shows how to implement simple Facebook login into your app. Each sample includes the Xcode project and a descriptive README file. The Scrumptious sample demonstrates how you can create an entire social app. Open it up by clicking on the Xcode project file, and you'll see it's already configured with the source, the framework references, and that it will build and run straight into the simulator. If you're creating your own app, or even extending the samples, you'll need to configure your own Facebook app and obtain an ID. From developers.facebook.com, click the Apps tab at the top of the screen. If you haven't done this before, you'll need to accept the terms and conditions. Then, when you reach the app dashboard, click Create New App at the top right-hand corner. Give your app a name, complete the CAPTCHA, and your Facebook app will be created. You'll use this page to set icons, app center settings, permissions dialogs, and so on, but for now we only need to copy the app ID. Let's walk through the process of configuring an entirely new Xcode project. If you're extending an existing sample, many of these steps will already have been done. But in both cases, you'll need to set your app ID, as we'll show here. Here we're just creating a standard project and saving it to the desktop. Once you're into the main Xcode view, you'll see we do not yet have a reference to the Facebook SDK framework. We need to add it in from the SDK installation directory, which is most easily done by dragging and dropping the framework folder into the frameworks area of the project navigator. You can uncheck the copy items checkbox, and you can see the reference has been made. Similarly, we need to add the resource bundle to the project. From inside the Framework folder, find the Resources folder. This is a symlink, so double-click to open, and take the Facebook SDK Resources bundle and drag it into the Frameworks folder too. Version 3.5 of the Facebook SDK for iOS is integrated with iOS 6 and its native Facebook support. This requires a few additional framework dependencies, which you can add using the Linked Frameworks and Libraries section of the Target Summary pane. Add the Accounts, Ad Support, Security, and Social Frameworks, and the SQLite 3 library, then check that they appear in the Project Navigator. Drag them into your Frameworks group if necessary. The final step, which you'll need to do whether you've created a new app or started from one of the samples, is to match your app configuration to your configuration in the app dashboard. Find the plist file for the app. If you're creating a new project, add a new row and name it Facebook App ID, capitalized as shown. Set its string value to the app ID you copied earlier. 
Next, add in your Facebook display name so it matches the name you configured in the app dashboard. And lastly, you need to add a URL scheme so that the OAuth callback brings users back into the app. Add a new array row called URL Types, and under its first item, change the item name to URL Schemes, with the capitalization as shown. Give that array a single string item whose value is your app ID, prefixed with the letters FB. And that's it! Your project is configured and ready to go, and you can start coding. Take a look at the samples and follow through the tutorials on our developer site. And have fun developing amazing social apps for iOS.